Red flag that I seen a guy is having a mom and even worse having a sister. Damn, you want me to be an orphan? Well, unfortunately, I have both a mom and a sister. Oh, wow. Do you have any aunts? Three. Wow. Is your grandma still alive? Um, one of them's gone. Yeah, the other one's still here. All right. Well, that's an obvious red flag and it's obviously your fault. Why is she still here? You should have... I'm not even gonna go there. Hey, what's up, everyone? I hope you're gonna enjoy the video. So let's get into it. So I'm supposed to be going out with 29 year old Haley off Tinder and uh, you right there love? Yeah, ain't so nice. You <laughs> I'm sure they're great. Yeah, um, yeah. Delicious. Yeah, I don't know why you're complaining about. You're the first one ever to invent time machine. As soon as you got into your car to drive to that date, you teleported yourself 20 years in the future. Why is modern dating so hard for women? Because boys be cheating. That's why? Yes, boys ain't shit. Why do you feel that way? Because I've witnessed it, I've seen it, and it is true. Like, like all, how is it true? Give me an all, example. I, I, I hate to say it, but all men are the same. How are all men the same? When they like what they see, they go after it. Whether you are in a relationship or not. You don't think a dissatisfied woman would do the same thing? Women, women will, I can agree to that, women will. So, with that being said, I could say all women are the same too, right? Technically, yes. But, how would you feel if I compared you to the next Asian chick that walked on the block? Okay, I can say, okay, okay, so it actually depends on the person. As long as that person's a woman, cause men are all the same. I like this guy, he has way too much patience, but dude, stop using logic with them. For sign of logic and she forgot all her talking points. The book is based on a survey where men and women were asked if they got 80% of everything they want in their ideal mate, would they be happy with that? And women said, no, that's settling. And men said, 80%, I'd be thrilled, that's a catch. And so- 80% you know, like, of the women you surveyed is settling? That's settling because, you know, the question is, what actually makes us happy in long-term romantic love? And, you know, that's the question that I explore in the book. And I'm a journalist, so I went out and I asked neurobiologists about chemistry, and I asked behavioral economists about demographics, and I asked marital researchers. What are women too picky about here? Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, men and women were asked what would be a deal breaker for going on a second date. And men named three things. They said she has to be cute enough. She doesn't have to look like Angelina Jolie. She just has to be cute enough. She has to be warm and kind. And she has to be interesting to talk to. Those seem like really valid criteria. Ding, 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 ding. The, Pretty simple. Right. Uh, Okay, reasonable, right? The women came back with 300 things that would rule out a guy for a second date. And we're talking about like another two hours and maybe a free dinner. And they wouldn't do it. And there were things like he wore a brown belt with black shoes. Or we were having a really good time and I thought he was cute and he was interesting. But then he went, he did this Austin Powers impression. And I just can't get that out of my mind and I can't go out with him again. The Austin Powers guy could be the love of her life. It could be, but no one cares about that. You think that was bad? Take a listen to this. He's a 10, but he has an Android phone. What's his new rating? A three. That's a zero. That's horrible. It's a zero. Our pictures for Instagram are going to be terrible. It's green texts and I'm doing blue. I feel like it's a downgrade. iPhone all the way. Why are you having an Android? Go get your money up. Get out of the house. If you don't have an iPhone, you're a nerd. And I'm not doing WhatsApp either. Are you broke? Like, how can you not I'm afford not doing Apple? Apple. WhatsApp oh either? <laughs> Just use WhatsApp. <laughs> what do you guys think about that video? I think we come from a situation where an iPhone's super expensive. Here, it's easier to get an iPhone than in Brazil. That's why people here think it's weird. But for us, if you have an Android, like you have a phone. <laughs> but, but even in Brazil, like if someone has an iPhone or no, even if it's expensive, it like doesn't matter. We have a lot of uh, phones that aren't like uh, iPhones and are expensive to you and like sometimes are better than iPhones actually. So. Just like, whatever you like. Yeah, it doesn't matter. 
there you have it. The difference between Western women who will not date you if you have an Android phone, because to them that means you're poor, when in fact they're too dumb to know the difference between an Android phone that is mid-range and the top-of-the-line Android phone that's gonna be just as expensive as an iPhone, and the women from the rest of the world. In this case, the three ladies from Brazil. The lady from earlier was talking about 80%. You can, as a man, make it to 99% and they're still gonna say no because you have an Android phone. And that's why they're single. And I can't even for a second pretend I'm sorry about that. You know what's interesting to me? In a world where women are literally turning the economy around with their spending dollars. In a world where women are literally like, as soon as they band behind you, you escalate in fame and, and, and in money. And in that world, a stupid little boy who got his teeth fixed and is a new hot suddenly has decided that he doesn't want anything to do with that. And what he wants is to be edgy, an edgy man comic. So he turns his back on all the girlies who are like, you're kind of cute. Do you have any idea how stupid you are? No, but I'm pretty sure about you. Here's an idea. If you find him edgy or if you don't find him funny at all, don't buy tickets to his shows. Don't support him with your money. Don't make him rich because you find him cute. Here's also an idea about how you can turn the economy around. Stop complaining about some edgy jokes because you don't have a sense of humor and you want your fifis to be hurt all the time and support with your hard-earned money. I don't know, women's basketball. So maybe they'll stop moaning and complain about not making the same amount of money as the ones that actually make a profit. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.